A clutch of companies are hoping to break the stranglehold of traditional technology at Drupa 2024. Suprakash Mitra talks the inkjet talk about all things books and publishing. Suprakash Mitra in conversation with Ramu Ramanathan at the Print Week studio. So greetings. Right now I am with the son of Kamal Mitra, who was a publisher of uh, some note, uh, worked in Patna, then came back to uh, Calcutta, and uh, the son is. Superbly overqualified for our industry, he's got an honors in <laughs> physics. He's got an uh, accomplishments in mathematics and statistics. Uh, so welcome, first and foremost, uh, Suprakash Mitra ji, and who I, I think everybody in the industry calls Dada. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to start off with a slightly um, uh, sort of obvious kind of a question. Uh, I mean, you have a substantial amount of experience in toner, electrophotography, digital presses. You also have a substantial amount of understanding of liquid toners uh, and of course right now we are here to discuss the C series which is a baby of TPH Orient. Uh, if you can just give us a sort of uh, you know macro perspective of the merits and demerits of the other technologies and where does inkjet score and uh, what should we expect from inkjet technology especially from an Indian manufacturer. Uh, <clears throat> as long as the demerits there is there is no prominent demerits of other technologies. Right. The thing is that inkjet is the latest technology and the future technology. Mm. If you simply go through the PIDA report also, yep. uh, it's also pre predicting that inkjet will have the maximum growth in mm. the sector of publishing yep. as well as the packaging and level and all these things. Right. So more studies, more R&Ds, more cost cutting, more everything is done on these technologies which is latest and future. Right. EP technology means the electrophoto technology is a backdated technology, but right. it's definitely going on yeah. with uh, uh, solid toner as well as the liquid toner, yeah. and it's doing good. The difference, technical difference, what I find is the speed. Mm. Uh, inkjet is much mo more high, it can produce much more higher speed production with very good quality. Okay. Uh, the reason, second reason is, uh, second point is that uh, uh, inkjet is a contactless printing. Of course. And uh, mm. so it, this doesn't have any generation loss or dot loss, whatever you mm. say. Mm. But uh, any EP technology has mm. three transfers. Mm. That's true. From plate to blanket, blanket to substrate. Yep. Yep. So definitely there is a dot loss. Mm. Uh, so if you call that, we will increase the dot percentage so that it comes down to a normal. It never happens mm. because mm. it's not that easy yep. to predict in all case, all file, all color. Got it. So in that case, this is a much better technology. Jeez. And secondly, the cost, running cost mm. is much lower in case of inkjet. Maybe presently the presence is not that much. Mm. So the ink price is a bit on a higher side, yep. but definitely I am expecting within next two to three years, the ink price will be in that position that uh, this will be the only technology we will take over, take yep. over for the yep. future. No, understand. But uh, just again, a follow up to that is, uh, Dada, why has a India not accepted this? I mean, you mentioned cost, but why has India not accepted this technology with the sort of willingness? I, for instance, uh, We've been hearing about inkjet for the last decade, decade and a half, and we said that now you know, aane wala hai, aane wala hai. there's been a promise, and then there's been a promise, and so a lot of promise, but no actual traction on no, the ground. I think the only reason is cost and economic yeah. viability. Right. Because see, present days also, hmm. till day today, uh, there is no as such Indian production of inkjet technology. Got it. It's all European. Yeah. They are very good quality of and course. everything, yeah. but the cost what the cost or capex and opex they are offering yep. is not vi economically viable for indian job and indian jobbers correct correct apart from this you have very few chinese technologies over here mm. which are very very unstable because mm. the oem sits in china yep. the distributor works here the distributor doesn't have a proper support sure. secondly there are some one or two assemblers also yep. then it's again an assembler their inconsistency yep. is very much prominent yep. so in that case uh, what happens that uh, uh, we India didn't got a proper technology till now. Got it. We have bought it. We are manufacturing everything, only the head. Yep. Head we are using Kyocera, as I told you. Correct. You also know yep. that. Yep. Uh, so head we are using Kyocera head, which is we are directly importing from Japan. Got it. And rest of everything we are 
doing so it in-house. So it's a in-house. fully manufactured Indian inkjet press, C-series. You, can, you, can, yeah. you yeah. can call it a made in India. Made in India and you'll be showcasing this at in uh, Drupa. 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 Uh, uh, two, three things. Ek to, I have seen the press running at Pamex. I took a demo from your team. Uh, okay. unko kiya no, no, it's uh, all. And then of course, aap thain, I think you were busy on the other line. So okay. I... So two things I've done uh, post Pamex. One is, of course, my little understanding of the press because obviously in that one, one and a half hour, whatever they could explain to me, plus samples, etc. So I have created a set of questions which I have for you. That's but the other thing that I've done, which I think will be of importance to you, is I've spoken to four book printers who are looking, who are traditionally in the web offset space or in the sheet fed space, looking for solutions in inkjet. So I have asked them what their requirements are. So some of those questions and two prominent MNC publishers. So, wow. so the idea is to also, instead of me asking you questions which are abstract and of probably no relevance to our industry, this is what the industry wants to know. So the first question is uh, about the RIP. Uh, what is uh, the RIP that you're using? Because one of the things we have understood from the legacy of inkjet presses by the European and the Japanese manufacturers is that you need to be driven by a solid RIP because that, in a way, is the brain cell of the machine. So what RIP do you use and what are the advantages we accrue from that? Yeah. Uh, see, we have uh, a JV with Arden UK. Okay. Uh, hopefully everybody knows and you of know course, Arden. Yeah, that uh, yeah. Arden is a breakaway group of Kodak, right. which, which is handling the software part of the Kodak. Yeah, yeah. So we have a JV with uh, Arden. Mm. So they are preparing, customizing, preparing the RIP as per our requirement, rather as per Indian job requirement. Okay. So it will be a RIP made for Indian jobs specially. Okay. Uh, so we are using that. So that will be efficient enough. So this and will be bundled will, with all the press? This, oh, yeah. this has two versions. Okay. The one version will be bundled with all the press. Okay. Which will have, and basically both the RIP versions are dynamic RIP. So mm. it's a real-time RIP. Mm. When you RIP, you don't need to stop the machine for it. Right. It will run simultaneously. Mm. It will print simultaneously. Uh, the default version of the RIP will be having a basic imposition, the RIP function, as well as minimum of color corrections, nice. if required. Nice. And if you want something more, like, and obviously one more thing, speed, uh, uh, speed is always there, uh, VDP, variable mm, data oh, printing, yeah. but again, a limited variable data printing. But that will be an add-on feature, right? Or you can, it comes in built-in. It comes in a built-in. Why? But for the advanced one, you can have a number of variable data printing. Okay. You can uh, incorporate security, okay. track and trace, mm. and all other features. Mm. And you can do uh, higher level of color management, like uh, managing uh, Fogra, managing Pantone shades, and everything. Got it, got it. So the next thing which sort of automatically it leads me to is the heads. Uh, you've already mentioned that it's Kyocera heads. So why are Kyocera considered the Rolls Royce among heads? I mean, is there a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. Uh, yeah. For us, uh, right. see, the mantra of building this uh, machine or making this machine is that it has to be uh, at least European standard, if not mm. more, mm. but customized for Indian jobs and Indian economic viability. Sure. So sure. working on this, we have worked out with all heads available in Indian market. Okay. I don't want to name each and everybody, but... Uh, so you've done trials and tests with... Everything, okay. with all the heads available in Indian market, means okay. who supplies in India. Sure. There sure. are a few who doesn't have any presence in India, so of it's of no use. So what I found that, uh, rather what we found, our team found that, Kyocera is the most hardiest trip which Indian situation requires mm. because definitely he, uh, heads are very sensitive to environment yep, yep. and handling. Kyocera is also having the same issue, of course. but it's the hardiest one what we have found mm. and it's a industrial head. Other yep. heads are developed from uh, office equipments, maybe from some other equipments like scanning head. Mm. Uh, so this is made for industrial equipment. Sure. And uh, just for your information, the head we are using from HP, uh, sorry, from Kyocera, is the best head what Indian OEMs are using. Definitely European OEMs have this head, but they don't supply the same thing in India. Got it. Our head is uh, at the rate of... Uh, 
600 by 300 dpi it will run at a rate of 200 meters per minute pretty good hmm. which is the highest and, and if most the complexity of the job changes will i need to slow speed down if you can explain that no, no. okay no. Hmm. but this is a uh, theoretical speed what i have told of course of course in case of practicality depending on the substrate right uh, the speed may go down max to 15 to 20 percent got it got it that's fair enough yeah and again for my understanding and based on the sort of demos that i saw at pamex uh, this is what on an approximate uh, four kyocera heads for a monochrome and you add the heads as you go for no. color how does the uh, uh, no sir it's not like that uh. it's not like that our machine is basically again our next mantra of this machine where that we are not selling boxes okay we are selling customized machines sure. if you require in fact, we don't sell machine on the over the shelf. Uh, our person goes there, mm. studies the application, mm. studies the requirement, and we tailor made a machine for that particular application. For so it, it may require um, some extra time, like two and a half months, to produce a machine. Right. But that machine will be tailor made for that application. Mm. So heads, as per requirement, we are using sure. for. Uh, tabloid newspaper we will be using more head rather than uh, security printing Got because it. normally security printing is come printers are comfortable with 13 inch Got it. we yeah. where we use three heads yes and okay. they are comfortable with mono yeah so that means three plus three duplex sure so six heads is enough right and again the principle of uh, functioning how does it is nozzles and uh, what happens if nozzles fail and how does this work? We have a technology, built-in technology. Uh, normally, nozzle, nozzle doesn't uh, fail. Mm. But if in case of clog any, or, any yeah. clog or any particular nozzle failing, mm. immediately, it's a real-time thing, the next two, no two no uh, nozzles starts emitting more ink to cover it up and a message appears to the operator. After this job, stop the machine, get it, cleaned, not a physical cleaning, a automatic cleaning, they have to run the cleaning process and then again start. Okay, so all right. So, so not a single page will be wastage in that case. Fair enough, that's that's good. And, and what would be, I mean, I don't know if we are permitted to discuss numbers, but an approximate cost for these heads would be what, four, four and a half Indian uh, lakh Indian rupees approximately, or it's m much more complicated. And no, the reason I'm asking is because I think the first warning signal for most Indian uh, printers would be a, a running cost and replacement cost. So if you can... Throw Sir, some. why are you considering this replacement cost? Because we are taking AMC at a very nominal cost, okay. which covers the head. Right. Nobody takes it. Sure. Rather, our sub head source doesn't take it, but we take it. Yeah. And AMC would be uh, a sort of uh, an annual contract that you work with? Annual contract. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. So, uh, end user doesn't need to bother on the head price. Sure. We are sure. taking it. Got it. Got it. So again, the next sort of important question that comes up is post-press because I think far too much uh, you know, emphasis goes into the brain of the machine, which is the pre-press aspect, and far too much in India particularly, we post neglect post-press. So what yeah. are you doing different? Because again, that's interesting and it would be interesting to See, hear. See, our from. machine is basically, yeah. our publishing machine, the C-Series, C -series C -series. is basically a roll-to-roll -roll machine. Correct. That is the basic machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now a customer, an end user, can choose for their uh, finishing part. Yep. We will customize again, just like the machine, as per their requirement. Mm. If he wants a roll-to-roll -roll and roll-to-sheet, yep. we can give a roll-to-sheeter okay. attachment. Mm. If he wants a roll-to-sheet plus folding, mm. we can give an attachment of roll-to-sheet plus folding also. This is inline? This is inline. Okay, nice. Mm. Uh, I avoid to give a thing further than folding means stitching it's a type of thing because what happens is that uh, most of the wastage and uh, speed slowdown happens during the stitching part that's true so you have to compromise highly on the machine printing speed if mm. you include the stitching part mm. so normally my preference is that do it up to folding and get the stitching offline, offline. makes sense but, makes a lot. but again it depends on totally on the end user mm. if he wants that we can provide that also okay okay a sensible advice Fairly sensible. Uh, and then uh, you mentioned variable data that the Arden sort of helps you do that. But in addition to that, is, what would you prefer to do uh, variable data offline, online? And uh, oh, variable, booklets? Yeah. Variable data, see, our machine can accept any type of variable data, means okay. any format. Sure. Uh, alphanumeric, mm -hmm. uh, QR code, barcode, okay. uh, TIFF, 
hmm. means anything yep. and it's all real time online drip okay so you don't need to worry on all these things you just have to just mark where the thing has to be laid and the machine will do rest of the thing sure and again post press what do you do typically what do you suggest as sort of solutions to support the mainframe is there anything specific no nothing specific because right. what i have experienced that all the security printers right they don't require anything else ap apart from uh, sheeting yeah yep. they require sheeting or one more thing one yep. uh, sometimes a bit of collating yeah collating is always there, there. If, as mm. a digital printer yep. everybody can collate correct uh, so collating gathering is uh, always there right no one more thing uh, recently we have uh, uh, sold one machine to our neighboring country okay where he requires a security printing mm. and a finishing in a fan fold nice. or zigzag whatever you call mm. it so we are doing that also okay that's interesting that okay i'm quickly going to move on because we have a lot of sort of space to cover uh, is paper and uh, again what is doable on the machine and uh, you know because the three or four questions that typically come up is tensile strength fluff indian papers what kind of indian papers can you do you know coated uncoated so again over to you as far as my understanding sir we are the only oem right. who will be uh, giving print on coated as well as uncoated paper because okay. all all other brands are giving prints only on uncoated paper that's true so mm. we are we will be giving print on coated as well as uncoated paper mm. and the that does not require any ink change or anything okay In, simultaneously you can run coated and uncoated paper sure uh, on a single go right uh, secondly any paper yep i can show you some sample with me yeah uh, ah, that helps that always yeah. helps yeah uh, this is uh, a imported paper first okay. of all i'm showing it okay. this is home holman okay uh, hmm. and uh, this is uh, ruchira paper this is a yep, indian paper yep, yep. ruchira paper and 58 gsm hmm, hmm. Uh, this is uh, normal white paper with 55 gsm okay and this is uh, paragon paper with 48 gsm okay. these are all indian papers right. we have print in a job in fact you can see these are job printed correct 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 so these are live job printed hmm. so people uses it and they find no problem mm. they are on it day and night mm. they find no problem yeah and in terms of fluff what happens i mean if it generates ideally ideally thicker fluff is not adv advisable lower mm. fluff is advisable mm. but our machine can handle it okay our web uh, system is such that it adjusted the gap between the substrate and the head mm. as per the thickness of the paper I when see. you put in the paper mm. you need to uh give the thickness actual parameter, thick, yeah. uh, uh, parameters and the machine will adjust itself got it got it but uh, does the fluff sort of affect the nozzle in the coursera and if yes then is there some it sort of do's and don'ts actually it doesn't because our web cleaning system can handle it right so it doesn't make a much problem much. to that right so right. we have a very strong web cleaning system mm. a three stage web cleaning system nice. so it handles and it deionizes also mm. so it doesn't have any issue on that fluff part but still it's always advisable for a inkjet machine any inkjet machine Mm. a lesser flub a less, less lower bulk is always advisable yeah and to maintain sort of maintain ba basic health of the machine right to yeah. maintain basic yeah. health of the yeah. machine yeah. Uh, though our machine has a auto cleaning process and yeah. it cleans everything yeah. yeah so but still to some make some hygiene some, some hygiene. hygiene is yeah. there yeah. yeah and speeds i mean will there be a difference between the sort no, of no. no okay yeah and again just for my understanding what are the sort of average speeds we are looking at and, uh, and see uh, see if uh, i have seen uh, i have seen uh, newspaper houses they prefer not more than 300 by 600 mm. because for their bulk yep they use very porous bulk that's true and they don't want extra ink on it mm. so they use their economy also get validated on that particular bulk yep so at the rate of 600 by 300 mm. the official speed will be uh, 200 meters per minute yep. but i will tell it has a practical of 10% lower speed 
than the official 10 to 15 percent lower speed than the official one Got that it. is the max which will go down right. and it will never depend on the thickness of the bulk got it got it so one thing which is my question so mm. far i've been asking other people's questions is that your operator at pamex who was very very good uh, told me that 150 meters per minute is the maximum speed uh, and as you pointed out, he said 65%. And so uh, what I am looking at uh, on a sort of rough uh, back of the envelope calculation is 50 to 80,000 A4 uh, impressions per hour. Is this broadly what um, Mota Moti no, the numbers no, are? No, 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 not at all, not okay. at all. Mm. Uh, the speed what you have seen in Pamex is definitely 150 right. because that was a different head. We okay. have upgraded the head. I see. So now it's not 150, it's 200. Okay. okay. And secondly... It's not 65%, it's basically, we call it 80%, and 80% it gives. We okay. have uh, tried and trial everything, 80% of the speed it will give, okay. so it's much more in number. Nice, nice. So if within two months we can see a sort of upgrade within the thing in terms of the machine. Actually, no, see, this, this was a, as you know, this particular machine and project, uh, R&D has initiated two years back Correct. by Ramani sir. Right. So as a mentor of mine and as a footstep follower of Ramani sir, <laughs> right. I can tell you that constant R&Ds will be there. Right. This is not a two-month R&D, this is a six-month R&D, which Correct. has got result in two the months. The fruition has occurred. Wonderful, wonderful. And now, of course, uh, you know, the other sort of uh, red herring which is there with all inkjet is the inks. Uh, so, you know, uh, is it, again, your own in-house ink formulation, third party, is it water-based? And so what honestly, honestly speaking, Kyocera doesn't allow okay. to have local inks. Mm. Kyocera is stick to two, three brands. Okay. And all are Japanese brands. Okay. So we are sticking to that. Okay, okay. We have two, three options, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. We work out with them uh, for the best price available, mm. uh, but we cannot have a local ink over there. Okay. Mm. And what are the things which are, again, do's and don'ts with water-based? I mean, is there, again, anything that one must be aware of or...? See, it's not only water-based, but if, yes, for inkjet, there is only don't do's, uh, is that uh, keep a proper environment. Mm. Secondly, don't try to clean the head yourself. Mm. That's the only thing. Let the system and the process... Let the system takes mm. care of you. You don't need to take care of the system. Sure. You sure. need to take care of the only the room environment. Right. That's all. Right. And what kind of results am I getting at, or talking about with the water base in terms of color? I mean, I know you showed us some black yeah, and white. Yeah, I will show yeah. you some colors. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here is some color. Okay. Uh, and you printed this on? Yeah, these are all right. printed mm, yep. in our machine. Mm. So interesting gamuts. Mm. Yeah. So lights, deeps, all shades. Mm. See, it's a four color machine. Right. So you can uh, uh, you can expect maximum from this four color machine. Sure. Uh, don't expect anything extra color, mm. um, special color. Right. But four color machine. This is this is a very very good gamut. Right. And uh, I will not tell that uh, it can give a proper. Uh, Pantone shade, mm. but definitely for publishing and uh, commercial purpose, you don't require in that way. Correct. In case of a particular requirement, we can customize machine accordingly, which can produce. Nice, nice. In fact, in our uh, UV based machine, which we made for level, yep. uh, we have done those. Right, right. And again, just for my sort of conceptual understanding, would you would it be fair to say that this is the C series, which I saw at Pamex, is that it's a bridge between uh, toner and uh, uh, offset, and it's probably the answer and solution to both worlds. Would that be a fair assessment or no? Mm, I think I little deviate from you, sir. Okay. It cannot be. I uh, think it can. You can call it a much upgraded technology of wave offset. Got it. Got it. Hmm. So you're actually not just targeting. Though that though the working principle is different. Of course. Mm. But. You can call it as a more, much more technologically upgraded wave offset. Got it, got it. So it's interesting because a lot of people are basically looking to replace the sheet fed cut sheet and you're also looking to play the bigger game with web, correct? Yeah, actually, as you know, as everybody knows that this market, uh, after especially COVID, right. the run length has reduced like anything. That's true. So 
hmm. always handling uh, offset and with its time gap and everything becomes hmm. tough for the right. thing because as far as my understanding in a single shift of uh, eight to ten hours normal what we have in India yep. uh, a single offset can produce max seven to eight jobs that's true and that too if it is a simplex not a duplex job yep. Yep. but with this machine uh, I can assure that uh, with the short runs uh, people can go up to 75 to 80 number of jobs nice. in a single shift. Right. Good. Uh, make ready? What is the thing? There's no make ready. Okay. So then, if, but if shift if from job to job? How, how long does it? If you change the paper, right. we have an auto, auto lift on okay. both sides. Right. So it takes three to four minutes okay. to just lift the machine and, uh, yeah, mm. and uh, connect it. Uh, max five minutes yep. by changing paper yep. Yep. and for job change you don't need any time. Nice. It's a real time rip. Nice. Dynamic rip. Nice. And again just so that I get a number in my head because I always you know it makes me a little more comfortable Definitely. but what would you say I mean you are targeting say 5000 books we are targeting I mean an average sort of you know page numbers etc. Uh, see it depends on page uh, of thickness course, of, of course. the book. Of course of course uh, yeah but yeah but see uh, normally uh, what I understand that uh, recently many publishers are printing their magazines Correct. on inkjet or digital technology. Yep, yep. So I can assure that on a single shift they can do a full magazine nice. run. Hmm, hmm. That's good. That's very, very good. Hmm. That's good. Uh, and I saw, final question, I saw the 13 inch model at uh, Amex. I, again, just <coughs> curious to know in terms of customization, because you seem to be laying a great amount of emphasis on it, what else do I have? 17.5, 20? See, normal we uh, gave a 13 inch, okay. uh, 17 inch, okay. and 20.5 inch. Okay. That is a ready model we have there. Okay. But definitely we are catering order of uh, uh, Africa, which uh, is uh, 800 mm. So it's huge. Hmm. So, so you can, can I just say this on record? Thir you can go up to 36, will that be fair to say? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. Why okay, not? Okay, nice. Definitely. Hmm. We, are, we tell that we are customized right. solution provider. Great. If you are solution, I am the person who can produce the best solution to you at the cheapest price. Nice, nice. So great, I think this is fantastic. Uh, uh, an Indian manufactured inject press, which can be customizable. And uh, the machines are ready. And for those of you who are interested, we can look out f uh, uh, for the machine demos at the Drupa stall. Uh, and of course, you can meet Suprakash and his team. What? It's a 20 strong team. And this is what they have to show us at Drupa. So thank you. And thank you very much for doing thank this. You, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.